so so far in our analytics tutorial uh, of this sap um, hana native hana okay we are learning sql statements and we learned more, most of the ddl dml statements and create statement so many topics we covered so far so today's topic uh, is procedures okay in hana sql uh, in native hana this is not comes under you know sql part but we are using sql so it is a procedure how to create a procedure okay in native hana that is our today's topic okay so let's uh, go into the system and see how we can uh, first of all why we use procedure okay now what is the need of creating a procedure in sql in native hana so so far whatever uh, sql statements we learned those statements will be helped us to uh, to to see data from a table or to create new tables to store some information okay and to alter the table and all so ne? so why we need procedure means for example in native hana if you are creating a new table then what is the requirement of creating a new table to store some data into it just you want to load some data into it so how you are going to load data into a new table so either by importing it from a flat file that is one way but it is a manual way of loading every time into your you know uh, into your table so in production like in the production environment are we daily daily going to load data into tables manually so this is not the case correct so yeah whenever we need some flat file loads we do it but that is not only the way we store data in table okay so by using procedures also because we have statements called you know insert update delete data many data statements are there using all these sql statements what we can do is we can write data into the table also so why we are creating procedures means in the process by by with the help of procedures we can load data into a table regular on regular basis how on regular basis because procedures we can you know uh, configure it to run on uh, multiple times or to run on daily basis okay so we can configure a procedure we uh, to run on daily basis so on daily when this procedure is executing within the procedure we will write some code which reads data from source and writes into our target table okay so all this business logic we can implement within the procedure so two procedures we can send some input parameters we can uh, you know get uh, do some operations also in it and we all see in the coming in coming uh, you know in the next few minutes so first of all why we use procedure means procedure can contains a set of statements based upon our business logic which can you know yeah which can return some data or which can write some data into our desired tables okay that is uh, that's why that's why we use procedures so now when we go through one by one example we get to know what kind of statements we can write in a procedure and uh, how in real time we use uh, you know with uh, we use these procedures okay so next point uh, here in my slide in this procedure slide um, here i given a one very small example to you know explain how a procedure looks like so procedure followed by procedure name and within the brackets so this is the procedure keyword and then followed by you know this is the um, schema name followed by your package and the procedure name okay and then within the brackets we provide some in and out parameters so if we know some function module concept in abap in function module how we provide some input parameters and how we get some output from out of it in the same way in procedure also you can pass some parameters as input and you can get some uh, you know output uh, data also from it okay without input output parameters also you can uh, create procedure and with uh, with also you can create procedure okay na? both ways and then language sql script sql in uh, security invoker default schema where exactly you want to create this procedure we need to provide that schema name here and then reads sql data as after that begin and end within the between this begin and end keyword we need to provide our uh, business logic we need to write our business logic okay 
so this is a very simple procedure to just print you know my output parameter is material i'm hard coding i am returning m1 as a value to my material if you see output screen here when i execute this procedure it is returning simply m1 that's it okay just to know how to create a procedure where to write a procedure to understand this scenario i we are uh, you know going to learn this a simple scenario, um, example going into the system so where to create procedure okay generally uh, in our catalog section under schema you have one uh, you know tab called procedures so what do we have anything here um, do we have anything you know new when you click on new nothing is creating here okay so here you are not creating it we cannot create any procedures here directly okay let's go to hana user <coughs> Uh, we logged in with HANA user, so we are going to use our HANA user uh, catalog only, schema, schema only. Um, I am going to filter. HANA user. Okay, this is my HANA user. So under the procedures, see these are all the procedures. Uh, yeah, as it is a demo server, so we can see many procedures are there here. Okay, how these are created, we are learning now. So I am in which I am in HANA model perspective. In HANA model perspective, under schema, we have a procedure folder. If we create a procedure, that will be placed here. But we cannot create procedure from here. Okay, na? to create a procedure, you must move to HANA development perspective. You see here HANA development perspective. Okay, you need to uh, switch on to. So once we move to HANA development perspective, we need repos. We need to move to repositories tab. Repositories. For example, if repositories are not available here, this particular tab is not available. Then go to you know hmm, window, show view, other. Here you can uh, search for it. Repositories repositories select it and click on ok then this tab will be opened and how i am getting this hana db server so whatever you added on your systems tab that will be config uh, comes here that will be shown here also okay but before coming to repositories tab first you go to systems tab and log on to the hana user database first you need to log on successfully here then then only you must come here okay repositories and if you expand this one it and the look and feel little bit differently it will be there okay not like just other so if you see here under systems you can see catalog provision content security but when you come to repository what will happen you see one default like this uh, these are our new repositories i think but uh, you can see one default repository like this and uh, what will happen is when you expand this default repository these are all nothing but packages which are available in our content area in systems folder we have content tab right in the under the content we have packages information those packages information the same packages you can see on uh, repositories tab also you see same packages you can see under repositories also so where we are going to work here uh, le we are going to work here on uh, I think I created one package here with name Anita. Mm. Okay. So this was the package which I created to work on. Okay. Now, so what will happen is one more important point here. So you cannot work on it directly when you initially when you first time you know open this uh, package uh, database on your system it will be shown like this you see only database name is there but after the database name there is nothing but if you see the above one after default there is one directory uh, associated with it my local directory so it is mandatory to assign some local path before working on this repository section so this repository section will be stored in our system okay whatever changes we are doing those changes will be stored locally 
So for that reason, what we need to do, right click on the database, create import remote workspace. We need to click on it here like this and click on finish. So if you do this step, then what will happen next to default, then you can see the path like this. Okay. Once this step is done, then you need to click on expand this one and then go to your uh, package. So my package I am working currently is H underscore Anita. So I am going here. Now in, under this package, now you can create your procedure. Go to new, click on other and click on procedure. Okay. So when you click on procedure, there are two kinds of procedures are there. One is database procedure proxy and another one is stored procedure. So today we are going to learn about stored procedure. Okay. How to create stored procedure and how to work with it. That's what we are going to learn today. Already I created three procedures here for testing purpose. So we are going to create further now. Okay. So this is how, uh, how to navigate it to create a procedure before, you know, so next, now I'm going to click on stored procedure, click on next and then give the procedure name. So now this time I'm giving procedure name as PRC underscore sales, sales one. Okay. This is the procedure name I'm giving. So you see here uh, on the top, on the top of this file name, you can see the database name, which you logged in. And then here it is already point out to the package, okay, package, which you are, you know, currently uh, navigated to on which you are creating this procedure mm -hmm. and below to it, we have one file format text HD procedure and we have one more thing, which is deprecated. So we are not using it. Okay. We are using text pro HDB procedure and then it is asking for target schema. So where you want to create this procedure. So I am giving my schema HANA user. Because I logged into my system with the HANA user uh, user ID. So I am giving my target schema also HANA user. If you want to create your project specific procedures, then you need to create give your project, uh, you know, uh, schema where your all objects are stored in your project. But pro point here is there will be some authorization issue will be there. So you must have authorizations to access any, you know, tables and all while creating this procedure. So target schema HANA user and then click on finish. You see now procedure underscore sales was created sales one and SAP given some uh, default code here. And currently if you see one diamond color symbol on our procedure, which means currently it is in inactive state. Okay. So now this is our initial, uh, you know, uh, phase of our current procedure creation. So now we need to update this particular code according to our requirement. Procedure HANA user H HANA this is HANA user is my schema name and H underscore Anita is my package name and followed by the procedure name. So this is the naming convention what SAP providing to us. Okay. While creating this procedure. So now you see there are some brackets. This is nothing but you know in, uh, to provide input and output parameters here. Hmm? And then language SQL script SAP given. This is also SAP given and default schema. SAP is, you know, what it is doing is it is uh, commenting this particular default schema. So if we want to, you know, push this particular procedure into our schema, then write HANA user because I want to create this under HANA user. I'm giving default schema as HANA user under reads SQL data as. So this particular reads SQL data as is a keyword, which means we are telling. So this particular procedure is mainly for the reading purpose, not to perform any write operations. Okay. When this keyword is available on our procedure, it means this in this particular procedure, we are only performing reading operations, but not any write operations means you can send some input to your procedure and get some output out of it. But internally, you are not manipulating any data in any of the database tables. Okay, that's what it is. Next. So now we are going to, uh, so as per our example, so our first example is uh, how to create a procedure we seen just now and how to create some output parameter and uh, execute the procedure. So let's see creation and how to execute procedure also we will learn. 
then we can go for some advanced topics. So to execute procedure, to know whether our procedure got executed successfully or not, by returning some value, if it returns the correct value, then we can say, yeah, procedure is working fine. So for that reason, what I am doing, I am creating one out parameter here. Out parameter of type material uh, worker 10. Okay, I am creating one output parameter material of worker 10. So in my procedure, uh, I have to write my logic between begin and end of the my keywords the, between these code. SAP also, you know, uh, telling the same thing here within the comments. Write your procedure logic here. If you want to keep it, you can keep it or else you can delete it and write your logic uh, between it. Okay. So now important point is when you define something in the out parameter, definitely you must return something you know on your uh, uh, return some value to it okay so if i if i go to my example so when you are practicing it you can do the same thing here you can see uh, between begin and end i am passing some material is equal to m1 here so what, what i am going to do here i am writing material equal to so in one more point here is in the procedures there will be slight difference in the way how we uh, um, you know provide annotations so material equal to when coming to equal to you see there is a colon followed by equal to symbol not like in abap and a general programming language we cannot suppose to put simple equal to but we need to provide equal to in this way okay so this is now nothing but assignment operator in procedures material is equal to m1 and just like in sql every statement must be ended with semicolon okay sql guidelines so material is equal to m1 i now what i'm doing i'm going to click on this check button this is called check button where you can you know uh, do validation of your uh, code so i did check mark so nothing no problems are there everything fine now i am trying to activate the sap hana development by clicking on this activate button you see completed successfully activation completed successfully so you see now the diamond symbol also gone here now procedure underscore sales is showing properly now how now procedure was created now let's again go to the hana modeler in the hana modeler system step go to your hana user once refresh this hana user now go to procedures under the procedures let's see whether it is there or not um, proc underscore sales one right Mm. Second. Mm. you see h underscore anita proc underscore sales one with this name you can see now the procedure so when creating from hana development perspective you are able to get this procedure under the systems schema under your schema okay so this is how a procedure was created now how to call this procedure means how to call okay so for this what we are going to do is we are going to sql prompt okay i am opening the uh, sql console in the console i need to write a statement what called call okay call is a command to call a procedure call is the keyword write call keyword and then drag and drop this procedure which makes your life easy you know you will get everything not annotation and all okay double quotes so same in this way we need to provide but important point is for this procedure there is one out parameter you must take care of that out parameter also output parameters you can define with a question mark okay if you do in this way and then click on execute you see my output came output of one m1 okay so in this way we can uh, easily uh, you know create one simple procedure so from now we understand how to create a simple procedure in hana database now let's move on to the next uh, scenario how do we can perform a you know write select statement how to return table format and all we will learn in coming session okay just a second